lovely June morning. This is Lockleys, suburb of Bristol. And we've come here to do really rather a special garden for Janet Marker. She's confined to a wheelchair and needs a garden that she can get out into a bit more, along with her dog. We've been called in by her friend Aza. And this must be Aza. Aza! Alan! For it must be you. It is me, yes. <laughs> How are you? This is um, Peter and Margaret. Hello. Mother and oh, your mum and dad. Yes, nice. yes. Alan. Well, dad, this is yeah. Charlie. Hello, Hello, Charlie. This is Tommy. Hello, 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 Tommy. Dog in this case. Do you want to put your bins on? Yeah, I do. <laughs> right. <gasps> it's all oh, leapt into focus. Um, I plan to keep her patio and terrace here and give improved accessibility by moving it all the way round. Now, the main feature is this sort of lean to pergola with hanging baskets, which you'll be able to tend because they'll be at a, a low height. Mm -hmm. I want to paint the back of that wall terracotta. Right. And I want to paint the garage terracotta with Oxford blue doors. Yeah, yeah. And then a little pond with a central fountain quite low, a plant table uh, on which you can put pots and things, and a raised bed. So it looks a little bit like that, you see, so you can see the sort of three levels. What's happening sort of back here? Well, she wanted somewhere to walk the dog, so I'm stopping at this bed here and leaving that as lawn, but with a couple of portable walkways running down yeah. into it that she can take her yeah, wheelchair that's, onto that's it. What I was but she can then roll them up yeah. and put them wherever she wants to put them. Brilliant. The barbecue goes. Yeah, I don't fine, she doesn't like that very much anyway. <laughs> what about Aza's mosaic? Is there room for that one? I heard rumours about this. What is Aza's mosaic? It sounds like the Elgin marbles. <laughs> well, I did a little one for myself, which Janet rather liked, so I wanted to incorporate something like it. But when I thought of that wall, I've done a huge one. Oh, brilliant. So I've still got to finish it. Now, Janet's a bit of an artist herself, isn't she? Yeah, she's in the Botanical Society and she paints the miniatures for the Miniature Society. And she does it as a living, really. Hey, so are these your bits? They are my bits. <laughs> Did you start doing mosaics because you were very careless? Um, and you broke a lot of things. There's a, there's a tile skip opposite my house, <laughs> which is why I started. Yeah. But um, the rest of it is in here. So you started it already? Yes. Wow! <laughs> it took a few hours. <laughs> wow! This is... Can I bring it out? Yes, do. You've got to see this. It's heavy. <laughs> Clark, you don't drop it, Alan. <laughs> wow -ey. And there's three, three, four panels there's here? There's three panels there and I've still got two to do. Asa, that is absolutely wizard. This is beautiful. The garden alongside this is going to be nothing. <laughs> this is so beautiful. You talented lady. So an extra challenge this week to match the standard of Aza's artistry with the garden we make here and to make it suitable for Janet's wheelchair, all for around a thousand pounds. We know that Janet's been desperate to get better access to the garden because Aza informs us that Janet's told all her friends and relations that this year, top of her birthday list is paving slabs. Happy birthday, Janet. Aza's so worried that she's bitten off more than she can chew that she's roped in friend Anne to slave alongside her. It's the arts and crafts show today, isn't it? <laughs> What do you stick it on with? Because it's going on to what? Marine ply, yes, weatherproof it is. ply. Yeah. yeah. And what and do you stick it's being it with? primed mm. and then it um, with just an, um, a cement based adhesive. And then you use a, a normal tile grout over the top. But I've actually coloured it with a black cement colourant mm. to make it black. Oh. And how big a gap? Just a, oh, that's a bit. Fine. That's, that's fine. Right. And if you get big gaps at the end, you just fill them up with little bits of colour. You can cut it's small pieces. Right. It's just like a jigsaw. It's isn't just it? like a jigsaw. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I'll get out of your way because I'm going to do it wrong and you're going to get upset. That's not brilliant. Perfect. I'll get that Perfect. right there. Perfect. Yeah. Escaped <laughs> intact. <laughs> All the paved area needs digging down four inches for a good mortar bed. The new slabs have got to be properly laid to give Janet easy wheelchair access. I don't know anything ab about Janet's history. I mean, has she always been in a wheelchair? No, not always. No, she started off going um, to Newcastle to medical school and it all sort of fell apart up there and 
Um, she had to give medicine that. Um, so her problem is what? It's arthritis. Oh, right. Yeah. Rheumatoid um, arthritis. Rheumatoid yeah. arthritis, and it just progressively sort of gets worse now, you know. It's sort of... So she's confined to the wheelchair the whole time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's quite important for her mobility to get out to make this, that it doesn't yes. work for all yes. She couldn't reach the ground. Yeah. She, she, she could reach raised beds or something of that sort. But, uh, yeah. Ground level is, is difficult. Well, impossible, really. Yeah. Not difficult. It's now 1.30. And there's about 250 slabs to go in. <laughs> Done by uh, six. Fine. Okay. Quite the creme de month on that. Fine. We never have it, you know. It's just a silly joke, really. We use it in every series. We use it in every programme. It's just a turn of phrase. Quite the creme de month frappe. Somebody will serve me one one day and I shall be sick. <laughs> Tommy, could you just hold that? I know you've not got much to do. Just hold that for me. Thank you. <laughs> Come on then, start pulling. Pull pulling, it. yes. Complicated, the opposite it, way. Ah, we have a rival here. Right, keep going then. I can give it a good tug now, can I? No, because you'll stretch the cable. Safely encased in its trunking, the pump cable will run under the paving to a power point in the shed. There it'll be plugged in via an earth leakage circuit breaker. Janet, can't imagine what's going on down here today. <laughs> If you put that one there, though, how do you know you... Have you measured it so you know you've got that right number of slabs in between? Well, no, this is only a temporary fix. Oh, right. So if I put a weight on this line now, like there, and I just have to follow this string, and it should be straight and level. That's a clever idea. <laughs> and if, when he gets to this end, it needs moving along a bit, he'll shift it. He's not proud. OK. Yes, <clears throat> next, uh, next slab, please. I can't, because the caravan's sitting on them. Oh, thank goodness. <whistles> I'm half glad that went over the slope. She wanted the tops off the trees. <laughs> oh, it's We've had this discussion. <laughs> We've had a word. This is father. <laughs> if you don't do it, yeah. A, they get out of reach and you're stuck. And that's yeah. west. Yeah. You're going to lose all the evening sun. Right. And also, if you do cut them down, if you take them lower than you eventually want them to be, yeah. they thicken up. Oh. If you don't, they just keep going up at a point. <laughs> As day two dawns, as a Cockney impersonator of a northerner might say, Bristol is once more bathed in sunshine. Billy! Right, Char. Glad to see you, mate. Come here. I think you've enough to have you. Change the subject. Put that down there. Wonderful. Right. So we just shovel it on, brush shovel it on. Shovel it on, brush it in, run the oil and over it. Pardon? Right. Brush it off then. <laughs> <laughs> say that again slowly. Put it down, sweep it in, rub the iron over it, sweep right. off the excess. With Tommy's grouting mixture, which is three parts dry soft sand to one part cement.
Yeah. I've got to the point where I'm inventing work now. This edge didn't really need clipping, but it's had a clip. It's 12 o'clock, and that um, bed and pond that were going to be finished in an hour at quarter to 11 means they should have been finished a quarter of an hour ago, but they're not. I wonder how the mosaic's getting on. Aza, how are you doing? I'm doing all right, actually. I've just started the last panel, so um, we're on schedule. It's before lunch, and I think we can finish as, as long as everybody helps me, which is wonderful. You've got a new helper. I have, yes. This is Joanne. She's uh, Janet's assistant. So how's this garden going to change her life? Oh, <laughs> um, last week, she was saying that she wanted to have that paved because she can't go out in the garden that much and she can't even hang out the washing. So um, she was saying that that's why I couldn't say anything. What do you think her reaction will be? I just don't know if it should be gobsmacked. <laughs> <laughs> we live in hope. <laughs> she might be gobsmacked if we actually finish it. <laughs> Charlie has at least started on the raised pond, spreading soft sand in the base to protect the liner from sharp stones there and to stop splinters puncturing the sides and old dust sheet. When you're doing the corners, it's like doing a corner of a bed. The only thing is, people tend to want to fold it so it looks neat, so that you fold the corner under like that, and it looks very neat. But what happens is the liner fold drops down like that, and all the water runs out there when you fill it, so you can never get the water level up. So you ought to bring it in like that. Right, Alan, that's it. You done? Great. Get the lock in. Yeah, uh, can I get out first? Oh, wait, wait. Get the lock. Don't hang around here. What I'm after doing here is trying to uh, arrange the plants so that it's suitably placed in the bed for Janet. The access to this bed is down that end and down this side with a little bit on this corner. So the plants over on this side of the bed where she can't really get to I'm choosing plants that really look after themselves. This is Solomon's Seal. Dead easy thing to grow. Likes a bit of shade, moist soil. You could argue it's in full sun here, but it has got the moist soil and it's near water where it always looks good when it reflects well. And from these arching stems, you get little dangling creamy white bells in spring. It's a beautiful thing, but very easy to grow. Are you planting according to a plan? Um, yes, the one in my head. All oh, right. <laughs> it's usually a good idea if you, when you're planting a bed, if you think of triangles, like that, like that, and um, like that. And if you plant in triangles with something tall like that, to still be in the middle, and down through the verbascums to lower things, it, it lo looks less like a tray of scones than it can if you just have a row of dumpling things right. everywhere. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, I always try and come down a bit. Mm. Uh, I quite like that. I like it too. She's going to be over the moon. I'm sure she is. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to getting on with planting. She doesn't plants. always say a lot, you know, she sort of... Um... <laughs> That's nice. A woman that doesn't say a lot, Alan, uh, isn't it? You resist I wish the would. temptation. <laughs> but only just. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just trimming the liner oh, like right, this, and the, cable. and the cable's there. <gasps> but it's not plugged in, of course. Yeah, you haven't gone through it, have you? No. Ready? <laughs> I think my feet are still touching the ground. <laughs> Do those. Watch me quits here. Thank you. Right. Can you yeah. hold it, Alan? Yeah. You've got the weight? I got the weight. 
don't do Thomas Heppelwhite Walsh, master cabinet maker. Queen Anne legs a speciality, especially when he's wearing shorts. Shall we offer it up then? Yep, yeah, that's it. As a, as a sort of sacrifice to the goddess of gardens. Keep your fingers oh. crossed that it goes in. Yeah. It's difficult to keep your fingers crossed because it's rather heavy. Yes. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Too high, that end. Pardon? What? Too high, that end. I'm lining it up with the other post on the back. Yeah, actually, that's true. I should just clout that end one a bit. Super job, that is. Couldn't have done it better myself. Yeah, you're right, it's bang on there. Well, it's a bit loppy sided, isn't it? Ada, could you tell me if that's flopping backward? No, I think that's fine. Okay, how that's are you fine. going? Finished. Ooh! Right, you're there. That's it. These posts, have they got to be concreted in? Yes, please, Charlie. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. It wasn't an offer, it was a question, Tommy. Oh, sh Oh, you didn't hear that. He said Sorry, sugar, sugar. <laughs> Sorry, children. <laughs> Uncle Alan getting a little bit frustrated there. <laughs> well done, that's it. Oh, oh. Five past five, under the hour. Coming up the straight, I hope. Right, up. back in his racing start. That's the back, I think, by the labels. So that Janet can actually get down onto here when she's walking, Jessie, isn't it a noisy street? <laughs> um, when the grass isn't as hard as it is now, she's probably okay for wheelchair access. I've come up with a couple of pieces of this. It's called Porter Path, and you can run it across the lawn so it'll butt onto that paving there. I was quite careful with the grouting and just whiz out down there. There's another one here and with any luck that'll be wheelchair width and a couple more lengths that she can put wherever she wants. <laughs> How are you doing Tommy? You're right. I can't do anything. Don't ask me. These well I'm going to try and get these baskets up then. <laughs> Brilliant, they don't go right through. Oh, don't you love it when things go wrong at the last minute? Need to right. You want me to pile it in this for you? All right. Yes, please. I've done another one. I want another one in the same place at the other end. Pocket gun, I'll have to hide these in here. Good luck. Great, can you give it the same two places on the NB? Tea ready? Not, not planned. Oh, I bet you had a struggle getting them in. Oh my God! Hello. 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 Thank you. 
Dankeschön. So plain patch to painter's paradise in two days. The extra slabs ensure the garden's accessible all year round. And the raised beds are filled with plenty of subjects for Janet to paint and tend and paint again. Under the pergola, nature and art merge seamlessly. Hazer's mosaic becoming part of the three-dimensional scene. It's lovely, thank you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> we must have a bottle of something somewhere, haven't we? Off you go, see if you land in the pond. Yes! Woo! It's coming Woo! out again! Yes! Yes! Hey! Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good shot. Champagne glasses. Who's this, Jessie? Jessie, hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Here we are, Dad, have you got one? There you go. Can I? Where's Willie gone? Will. Will. William! Oh, can you cope with that as well? <laughs> Here's to you. Thank and you. And your little Bristol boudoir. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope you like it, Janet. Thank you. It's been a pleasure Cheers. doing it. Aza, um, you're a star. Your pictures. <laughs> from Janet's sunny lagoon in Lockleys. <laughs> Till the next time from all the Grand Force team. Bye bye. Bye. Cheers. Oh, oh, my. stuff on this side. Oh, it's lethal. It does look lethal, yeah. That's a, that's a pretty cool bit. I'm <laughs> <laughs> scratching your back, actually. Yeah. <laughs> they said that you kept asking for paving slabs for birthdays. Yes. I think they've rather given you enough. I think so, yes. Yeah. <laughs> don't think I want any more now. <laughs>